So maybe you don't have a new boyfriend or girlfriend. However, you are still thinking about your ex. The question is, is should I get my ex a gift for Valentine's or reach out to them for Valentine's Day? That is the question for this week's session of Ask Renee. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee Slansky. I am a professional dating and relationship coach. And I've started a brand new segment on my channel called Hashtag Ask Renee. And this is where I literally take your comments and your questions that you give me and I turn one of them into an answer, which is one of these videos here. Now, Valentine's Day is upon us. It's that time of the year. and There's always so much pressure on Valentine's Day. However, one of the questions that came through this time I thought was different and quite interesting. And that was, should I get my ex a Valentine's Day gift or should I actually reach out to them? Alrighty, this is usually pulling up all sorts of things of like how to get the ex back, you know, and I have actually done a video on that and I'll link it up if you want to go and watch that later. I'm always really um, cautious when it comes to exes. Relationships obviously break up for a reason and your ex is an ex for a reason, whether you want them to be or not. Valentine's Day is an opportunity to be able to reach out to the ex because, you know, it's a good excuse, things like their birthday, Valentine's, Christmas, are generally speaking, reasons why it would be valid to reach out to them. However, just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. The first thing that I would ask yourself is, why would you want to go and buy them a gift? And I'm just going to be completely like blatantly uh, honest here, as always, don't go and get them a gift. Don't go straight in. It's almost like going in overkill if they've become an ex or you haven't spoken to them for a while, then all of a sudden you do something elaborate by giving them a gift for Valentine's Day. It's, it's not the way to go about trying to win somebody back. Sending a message is a little bit more subtle and it's a, a better way to be able to ease yourself into seeing where they're at emotionally to gauge whether or not you should be interacting with them again. So asking yourself, okay, why do I feel the need to actually send them a gift or reach out? Do you still feel something for them? Are you still in contact with them You know, every now and then? Um, also asking yourself, why did the relationship break up? Because if you have this whole plan of, okay, I'm reaching out to them because I want to basically make things work again. The question is, can you make it work again? What were the reasons why you broke up? And are those reasons being solved? Because if you're going to get back together with them and those reasons aren't solved, then you're just going to have round two of another breakup. If the reason for why you want to reach out to them and send them a gift is because you're just lonely and you don't have anyone else, it's probably not a good reason to actually reach out to them. We can't be using loneliness as an excuse for connecting with somebody who we don't actually have a future with. So these are some pretty big questions to ask yourself. The why, why, why? And if you're not really sure, then ask what your friends think and get an objective point of view. And if majority of your friends think it's a silly idea because that person was bad for you or um, you know that nothing's going to change, then listen to what they say. However, if you feel like there's a possibility that maybe this could be the beginning of trying to repair what you have, because exes can get back together, okay, then do it in a way that you're not going into overdrive. As I said, don't send them a gift. Maybe just start with a text or start with a phone call. Keep it casual, but also keep it sensitive. What I mean by sensitive is don't necessarily go into full on intimate details about how you feel, but have a sense of um, it's more than just a mate that you're talking to. There's something there because obviously you guys have a history. For example, maybe bringing up a memory. You can be like, oh, you know, just calling to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Do you remember that time back in 2018 when we went to that picnic and you know, that dog came up and ate all our food. Something that's going to make you laugh, obviously not going to make you cry. That's a good way to lead into triggering some sort of emotional memory from them to see how they feel as you're starting to build this conversation. Now, if you are wanting to get back with your ex, which 
you know that I have mixed emotions about that, what I recommend is checking out that video that I have. Or if you have a question that you want to ask me for my Ask Renee uh, sessions on Tuesdays, then drop it down below and I will hopefully pick your question and do a video just for you. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up and drop a thanks Renee down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy Valentine's Day.